Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Patience and kindness, remember? You'll need them today when the Blue Angels come back. And did you happen to get a peek of them yesterday? They were late initially, and then they weren't coming, and then they were coming, and then they weren't coming, and ultimately they were coming. All due to the weather, and I'm going to blame George for that one. But Glenn Miller did get some great photos, as always. So you want to go to ionanapolis.net and check them out. And Glenn will have more up on his Facebook page as well, Glenn Miller Photography. You want to check that out as well. And today, the weather is much better, and the show is at 2 p.m. Traffic will be crazy, so once again, patience and kindness. All right, let's get into today's news, shall we? Brooks DuBose over at the Capitol had a piece in the paper yesterday, and it seems that the Annapolis Police Union has negotiated a 19% pay increase over two years with the city. They are also boosting starting pay for officers from 51000 to 60000 in order to compete with Baltimore City and Anne Arundel County. They also have Juneteenth as a paid holiday beginning in 2023, but I'm pretty sure that's citywide. The city still does need to negotiate with two other unions, and I imagine those unions will be saying, hey, you gave the police 19%, what about us? And per the city code, all negotiations must be complete by the start of the new budget, which is July 1st, so it seems like we may be a bit behind the eight ball on this whole negotiation thing to me. And speaking of Brooks, you want to check out his Twitter feed. He's posting a whole bunch of really cool photos of Hillman Garage being dismantled piece by piece. It's really starting, folks. The back and forth bickering between Governor Hogan and Comptroller Francho continues. Both do want to repeal the gas tax increase that will kick in on July 1st, bringing it from 36 cents a gallon to just shy of 43 cents a gallon. Hogan says that Francho should do it, and Francho says that Hogan should do it. And the latest is, is that Francho has called on the governor to call a special session of the legislature to let them do it. This increase was actually legislated back in 2013 and signed into law by Governor O'Malley, and it is tied to the CPI or inflation. Hogan asked the legislature to extend that gas tax holiday we had a while ago that was in place, but they refused Generally, their position was that rescinding the gas tax is rewarding people for using cars and the focus really should be on reduction of a carbon footprint. So as we said yesterday, stay tuned and also save up some money for this 18% increase in gas tax that may be coming our way on July 1st. On June 4th, Homestead Gardens is bringing in an influencer to speak. No. It's not Kim Kardashian, and we can thank God for small favors for that, but it is a houseplant influencer, and who knew they had those, but we do. Hilton Carter is a houseplant expert and an Instagram influencer who will be speaking about his passion for plants and sharing his knowledge and care of styling of plants. He also wrote a book. It was just released, and it's called Wild Creations, which will be given to all attendees. The cost is $45, and it should be really a great event for all the plant lovers. All of the details are at homesteadgardens.com, and you'll want to surf on over to the events section to register. And as we begin to wrap it up for today, some more local business news. Mother's Peninsula Grill just sent me an email letting me know that they are now serving brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. And I'll tell you, I am a sucker for a good brunch. By the way, Maggiano's in the mall has a great brunch. Anyhow, Mother's also sent photos. So diet be damned. I know where I'm going to be this weekend. I'm going to check it out. And the food does look amazing. And when I was talking to Mother Dave, he sent me photos of his new project. And this is really cool. It's a huge tiki bar behind the restaurant. It's fenced in. It's going to have lounge chairs, cornhole, outdoor games, a small stage for some live music, and much more. They're wrapping it up right now. And they're hoping to have it open very early in June. We'll be the first one to know, so you want to keep your eyes open for that. And it looks like it might become the place to chill out this summer. All right, that's a wrap on the news. I am uploading a local business spotlight with Royal Jewelers a little bit later this morning, and that will drop on Saturday at noon. And next week, it is the Luminous slash Anne Arundel Medical Center's Blood Bank. And we are always looking for suggestions, so keep them coming. 
All right, that is it for the news. But first, a quick thank you to our sponsors for today's daily news brief, Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster Company, and Alpha Engineering. Okay, so now hang tight. George Young from DC MDVA Weather is standing by with your locally forecast weather report. And of course, we have Bridget, also known as Beeper Buzz, with your music news in Annapolis After Dark. All of that in just a bit. And don't forget, you want to check on ionanapolis.net a little bit later this afternoon or early evening for some amazing Blue Angel photos from Glenn Miller. All right. Now, hang tight. Here comes the rest. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Is all this talk of inflation making you uneasy? Me too, especially the uncertainty. How bad will it eat into my future purchasing power? Well, don't feel helpless because solar energy can give you some financial control. By installing and owning your solar system, you can lock out electricity cost inflation by locking in your electricity price for more than 25 years. Many of our inflation-fighting clean energy systems offset 100% of the annual electricity demands. Customers frequently add electric vehicle charging and backup batteries to their solar projects, providing them inexpensive auto fuel and additional energy security for the home. Let's make 2022 the year that you freeze energy inflation in its tracks by committing to affordable, clean solar energy. Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, May 25th. Yesterday played out as expected with clouds and a few showers with cool temps in the 60s for the Annapolis region. And today through Friday will bring more rain chances, but the long holiday weekend ahead continues to look like a great one. Expect mostly cloudy skies today with a few sprinkles and showers possible with highs mid-60s to maybe lower 70s, which means the Blue Angels Air Show should work out this afternoon in Annapolis from 2 to 4 p.m. with temps now looking like they'll stay a bit cooler on Thursday with low to mid-70s, 4 p.m. highs as an east wind persists, helping bringing another chance of showers and sprinkles to the region, though it shouldn't be a washout for the commissioning week color parade in Annapolis from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. with rain chances then going up Thursday night and Friday as temps go up Friday as well into the 75 to 82 degree range as the commissioning week graduation ceremony takes place from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Friday with skies then ultimately clearing later Friday and early Saturday in time for the long Memorial Day holiday weekend Saturday through Monday with sunshine and upper 70s to mid 80s expected each day across the DMV region and the entire mid-Atlantic. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day, along with our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And definitely be sure to download our DC MDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google app stores. So you can always stay weather informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. One of the most common questions we get, how do I maximize the value of my home before I sell it? It's a great question. We look at improvements like investments. What is the rate of return? For example, if we invest $5,000 in painting kitchen cabinets and installing granite, how much more will our home sell for? The answer? About $25,000 more. That's a 500% return on investment. Because of returns like this, we have started a program called Investing in You. We know cash is often tight when you're making a move, and we are here to help. We will front you up to $15,000 to invest in refreshing your home before you list it, with the agreement to be paid back once your home settles. Call us today so we can help you maximize your home's value. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. The music scene in Anne Arundel County is popping, and sometimes it's hard to sort through it all. From blues to pop, from funk to ska, Beeper Buzz has it all covered for you in this week's Annapolis After Dark. 
morning, Annapolis. Beeper Buzz here with your Annapolis After Dark weekend music highlights for Wednesday, May 25th through Sunday, May 29th. Plus one extra day. I will be including Monday Memorial Day music. Happy Blue Angels Week. Go to the socials for Annapolis Streaming and Beeper Buzz and also both websites for the full schedule. AnnapolisStreaming.com and BeeperBuzz.com. Live music for tonight, Wednesday. Russell Jacobson will be in for Ryan Keith at Stan and Joe's on West Street. Daphne Ekman will be at Reynolds Tavern. Peter James will be at Pirate's Cove. Larry Lay will be at Brian Brew. Joey Harkham will be up at Mother's and Arnold. Sean Peelan will be at Senior Chili's and Arnold. Nate Finn will be at Knights of Pythias. And Hurricane Kevin will be at EDC, but you must be a member or a friend of a member that is willing to sign you in to attend. Under the other things to do tonight, yes, I list them too on the daily schedule. A Jar Mike Night with Jimmy Davis is at Metropolitan. Thursday, get to the point for Brian Ewald. The dueling pianos are back this week at Sullivan's Cove in Severna Park. Aaron Hawkins of Loose Ties will be at Mother's. Alexander Peters will be at Reynolds Tavern. Charles Cavusi will be at Julep. And if you happen to head over the bridge, Dana B. will be over at Bridges. Weekend music, Friday night. Chris Button will be at Stan and Joe's Riverside down in Galesville. Rick and the Revolving Doors will be at Annapolis Smokehouse Friday night. Cameron May and Carly Winner will be at 49 West. The Experience will be at Stan and Joe's. And here is a big one. The Reagan Years will be up at Twain's Tavern, which used to be Bamboo Bernie's. Saturday, in the afternoon, head over to Great Frog's Winery for music by Aaron Hawkins of Loose Ties. Music is also returning to Big Bean up in Severna Park this Saturday afternoon with Scribe kicking it off. Music continues on Saturday afternoons at Old Stein Inn. This week, catch Mike Surratt's Continental Duo. Nate and Jim will be at Mother's and Arnold. Michael Kay of Pretty Big Deal will be at Brian Baru. Tyler Zachary will be at Sullivan's Cove. Oh no, One Night Only will be sailing on the watermark on their live music cruises on Saturday night. Will Hill will be back grooving Stan and Joe's on West Street, and Moose Jaw Bluegrass will be back at Dark Horse. Steve Boucher will be up at Blackwall Barn and Lodge in Gambrels. Chris Button will be at River Bay Roadhouse, and Dana Denise will be at John Hopkins House, weather permitting. Sunday fun day, start with brunch and music. Jazz Brunch with Oreo at Ram's Head Tavern. The Noah Pier Group will be playing Jazz Brunch at Blackwall Hitch in Annapolis. Ben Heemstraw will be at Brian Baru Sunday afternoon. And Richard Hayward will be at Pirate's Cove. Sunday Music Sessions returns to Stan and Joe's on Sunday with Mike Numera and Hurricane Kevin. Chris Button will be playing in Market Space. There will be music Sunday night at the Graduate Hotel in the Trophy Room with Dave Taff. PJ and Neil will be down at Stan and Joe's Riverside. Music is starting up this weekend at the Safe Harbor, previously known as Mirrors Marina, home of the Fat Crab Bar and Grill, which we all love. Moran Trip Band will be kicking it off this Sunday. And summer holiday Sundays on the shore, wait for it. Chris Tax Band will be at Libby's, which used to be Hemingway's. And Classic Case will be at the Jetty. Monday Memorial Day Music, John Frey's Project will be at the Jetty, and Peter James will be at Santa Joe's Riverside. Remember, these are just the highlights. Find the full schedule of music for all of Annapolis and the surrounding areas on Annapolis Streaming Facebook events and on the websites AnnapolisStreaming.com and BeeperBuzz.com, spelled B-E-E-P-R-B-U-Z-Z. Be safe, and I'll see you out there. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues. 
This is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IamAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IamAnnapolis. This daily news brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.